So, the Exacon qualifiers are happening right now, and the last one is about to happen really, really soon. And I figured why not join the last one just for the fun of it. So I took some notes during the first uh, two, I believe, uh, not on the third one, but on the, on the first two races. Um, since I like to base my starting leveling experiences on on on, on races on whatever races are doing, um, just adapting it then obviously to something something different. So I took some notes anyway, and I figured I'm gonna throw together my interpretation. I have no idea if this is correct or not, but that's my interpretation of what's happening in the races right now in, in terms of the Armageddon cremation kind of build on Templar. So yeah, that's what I pieced together from the live stream um, or from these tiny screens, essentially. Um, and I figured I shared it with everybody else because why not? In case you also want to join, I mean, it's going to happen very soon. I have no idea how long rendering will take. So let's keep this quick so this can go up. So in case you want to have a last minute participation just for the fun of it, uh, since almost nobody is actually participating. And that's a bit sad, I think. I think the leaderboard could take some more people finishing somehow. So what is this? It's a Templar. Um, there's a little bit of PUB. You can also just grab the PUB. It's it, it got like tree progression in there, right? Uh, for you guys and uh, a bunch of notes. I made them a bit pretty so people can actually read it because I'm going to share it. Um, let me run you through this real quick. So uh, as said, that's my interpretation. I have no idea if this is actually what people do, but I, I believe that's roughly roughly what they for what they do. So um, what are we looking for? We're looking for blue, blue, green. Uh, links that's for cremation so we only needed an act three so blue, blue green has a bit of a lower priority but if you can get it early why not you're not gonna exchange your gear much anyway um also just like disclaimer right this is not for league starting or anything this is for an act five race that skips a lot of content and kind of requires you to know the basic routing anyway so this got nothing to do with leak start. It's just terrible for leak starting. Just don't do this and you're going to die and it has no life. It's like, it's it's really difficult, okay? So yeah, blue, blue, green for cremation, but later on. Blue, blue, blue for your uh, clearing skill. So early on rolling magma and later the Armageddon brand. That's what we need that for. We need some early blue, blue because we don't naturally get one uh, to use for our road to get rolling magma started with uh, elemental prolif so that's basically everything anything you need in terms of links uh, to be fair you don't really need any, anything else um, you don't, for movement speed obviously but you're not gonna have much time checking vendors all the time so if you find some early why not um, we're gonna leap slam anyway right so it's 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 not that important i believe we will need an axe and a sword which is a bit weird but um, really interesting tech i really like it uh, we want an axe and a sword for leap slamming because they're nerfed scepters so they're really slow now so you want um, melee weapons really fast weapons and these are very early weapons you can get that are quite fast and also there is a note we're gonna take here that's like 60 percent increased damage while building two different weapon types that's why it can't be two swords basically that's like too too good to give up that makes a lot of sense uh, we do want a dex amulet we need some dex so you should be careful picking up any other amulet or any amulet that gives you random stats that but not dexterity because then later if you need to equip a dexterity amulet you might lose some lose some strength and you can't use your skills anymore so i wouldn't pick up any other amulet um that does have strength for int int to be fair <laughs> that just like don't um yeah we get one from delara that's early enough um, there's a little bit of a search, search string that does like blue blue it basically does blue blue movement speed x and sword i believe that's pretty much all it does that's really easy to get uh, we're going to start as a ranger uh, to mule momentum that's basically all you want to get you can do a quick vendor check as well so all you need from there it gives you some extra wisdom as well which is really cool uh, more chances for triple blue uh, after that we're immediately going to go to a templar uh, we do get starting scepters. You always get a blue red scepter when you start. And the first boss on the first zone, this, this, this dude with the sword, he always drops a second scepter. It's guaranteed drop. It's not linked, but it's uh, red, blue, green. So we're going to use that for the entire run because they're, they're perfectly fine um, as they are. Um, so that's the basic idea, unless we find something crazy, obviously. But yeah baseline these two scepters we're going to start rolling magma with elemental proliferation 
uh, after the, the island dude, Hellraker, where he's called, uh, we're going to pick up Quicksilver Arcane Search, uh, Holy Flame Totem, and Frost Blink from the guy on the right, the vendor seller. We're also going to buy Flame Wall and War Banner. So the basic idea is we have Rolling Magma with Ela Prolif, we have our Holy Flame Totem, and we have a Flame Wall, basically like the basic standard combo, I would say. Uh, I find it really interesting that you can put Holy Flame Totem in your scepter. Because later on, as soon as we have Leap Slam, we're going to swap back and forth weapons. So you only want to put Holy Flame Totem into the scepters. So you can use all your other skills while Leap Slamming, right? Still have Flame Wall, mag uh, Rolling Magma combination going. But if you swap for like single target, you would swap, right, to, to your scepter because you have more spell damage. And you can, um, that's the only moment you need the totem. You don't need the totem by leap slamming around. That's way too slow, I feel like. Um, so that's like a neat thing uh, I find really cool. And you have a guaranteed red link actually too in your scepters. So that's why I would immediately put it there. That's the idea. Then we go uh, get to, to Brutus, obviously skipping a lot of progression stuff, um, like no, no dweller, <laughs> nothing like that. We're not going to do that. And then you get Combustion and Leap Slam as quest rewards. And our links then basically are here. Here you want your blue, 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 right? If you don't have it for Arcan Search earlier, it's like whatever. Um, you can put Arcan Search there or nowhere. There's like a lot of socket pressure on this entire thing. Still have Holy Flame Totem and yeah, your Flame Ball. So basically still the same, but Leap Slam with momentum. So. That's why you want, in terms of, I didn't say that earlier, right? Ideally, you want a red-green link somewhere in your weapons or somewhere else. I mean, it's fine. It doesn't matter where it is, but ideally, it would be in the axe because you only need to leap slam while you have your melee weapons out, right? So if there's a red-green in your axe, that's pretty good. And you obviously want higher attack speed axes and higher attack speed swords, obviously. It's like these trusting swords with like 1.5, 1.6, whatever, um, attack speed. And it's quite likely to red, get red green on an X. And ideally that would be perfect, but doesn't need to be. If you find something like a, a bunch of blue sockets on your sword, that's gonna help with socket pressure later on. So if you can get blue sockets in there, prioritize, prioritize them over non-blue sockets, I would say. Um, that's like a, a little tip there. Also, in terms of the axe and the sword, make sure you have an open prefix because we need to craft the fire damage to spells later on it. So you don't end up wanting to craft something on your, on your sword or axe you have, and you can't because it doesn't have an open prefix. Suffixes are okay. Uh, you could even augment them then later to see if you get a, a tech speed suffix. That would be cool. Um, so yeah, that's why I would put this immediately into the axe. So ideally finding a red green axe. Um, I, I, have, I just put these weapons in my filter to, to find them, the, the fast axes and, and, and swords. And still like a uh, flame, flame wall. So you're only adding here combustion and the leap slam tag. And as I said, if on, on really heavy single target where you need it and you're not going to move anyway, you can weapon swap to your scepters and also use the totem and have some spell damage. That's kind of the idea. And then, yeah, you, you basically finish X1 with that. Um, obviously, rings, always super important, uh, like, like normal, like cold resistance and maybe some live rings or something like that would be really helpful if you can help it. Uh, in Act 2, after the, the Fideli whatever electro spider dude um not not the actual spider like this this other dude that's up from crossroads uh you can get herald of ash and also buy another herald like i've seen people buy herald of eyes you can probably also go thunder i have no idea but i, I don't know why it's eyes instead of thunder but i've seen people buy eyes so you can run a double herald uh, situation there and that's basically just adding these heralds. You can still keep War Banner. Um, as you see latest here, like the keybinds get somewhat insane. I think it's also fine to drop War Banner and just have less keybinds because it gets a bit nuts, uh, <laughs> to be fair. But yeah, um, so much about that. And obviously that's like kind of a written down the order that makes sense for me. Personally, I will ki would kill Alira or will kill Alira because I need the resistance. I'm 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 gonna die anyway, right? So I, I need all the help and survivability I can get. Probably the fastest is to kill Kret uh, to help Kretling for the attack speed, something you would normally never do in a, in a leak stun scenario. 
So that's helpful. You can also kill all of them. Never, never help Oak, I believe. So yeah, it's basically kill the Weaver, kill Kratlin, uh go to, uh, don't go to the crypt. <laughs> Why would you go to the crypt? You're going to skip the crypt, obviously. Uh, Oak, Alira, uh, get the skill point uh, south of Alira and then kill Oversoul. If you want to help another bandit, a different bandit, then you obviously need to change this order because you need to help the last one. The last one you talk to needs to be one, the one you want to help. Um, just go kill Oversoul, log out at Oversoul, that's the idea. Then we go back, um, puts it back to Act 2 Town where we can get the Elemental Focus. Um, that's also the moment I think it makes sense to go back to Act 1 to collect that skill point, right? You can also do that somehow somewhere earlier. I mean, you can do it almost immediately. Um, your, your preference. I, I like doing town stuff in bulk. Um, while you're in Act 2, you can also buy Wave of Conviction, Desecrate and uh, Concentrated Effect, or you should definitely do that. Um, but basically, does this to your links is um, also missing War Banner here. I'm just going to pick fix this live. <laughs> Perfect. If you still want to keep it. But yeah, you just add Wave of Conviction, but you see your keybinds get a bit get a bit difficult. So that's Act 2 already. Um, in Act 3, it's really important that you go to Dilara first, like get the waypoint first there and get the recipe uh, in the room next to her and then do docks because you're going to be way more powerful while going into docks. Uh, makes sense. Also probably easier to get to 24 if you do the waypoint first because you need 24 for the, for the docks. Otherwise, you're in the negative XP range. So that's really bad. Don't do that. So yeah, we basically rush to Delara at some town back, either after after Delara or at some point you want to pick up flammability as a quest reward. And obviously, as soon as you have this craft, you're gonna go to uh, your hideout and craft two times the fire damage to spells. That's what is next in the room to Delara as the craft. Uh, you craft this on your melee weapons, and from that moment on, you're not gonna swap back to your. Uh, to your scepters anymore. Um, that also means for me dro dropping Holy Flame Totem because it's still in that scepter. I'm not going to swap to it. If you have the sockets, I mean, be my guest, use it. Um, it's definitely somehow helping, I guess. Uh, but yeah, socket pressure. So it's probably fine to just drop it and completely use your axe and sword with the, with the enchantments. Um, here after the Dilara waypoint, the idea would be to do uh, docks first, uh, collect the quest item in the zone before docks. If you didn't yet, collect it in the docks, obviously. Then actually go to Dilara again, uh, grab your dex amulet and grab the, grab the other quest item. Then, yeah, do the passing through thing. Uh, kill this weird fire boss dude, this, this guy that gives the level 28 gems. You need to kill him. He's, he's really dangerous, I think, if you have no life and possibly are way under under rest capped, so you don't have fire rest. So yeah, really difficult. Kill him, kill piety. And after piety, um, you can go back to town. You can pick up a Magadon brand as quest reward. That's why we need to kill this annoying boss dude and buy cremation and determination. And that's basically a swap into final links, more or less. So that means uh, armor brand instead of rolling magma. So it's still the same link. So you just have to swap one gem. Uh, here is also when the blue, blue, green comes into play. So you have your cremation, conch effect, elemental focus. Ideally, you need desecrate to create the corpses, wave of conviction for um, exposure, I would say, flammability for cursing. You see a lot of buttons. Uh, Leap slam still with momentum. Cross blink is still pretty cool for Arcane Search, I guess. So you can probably put Arcane Search also with like, maybe with Wave of Conviction. Not sure if that's worth it mana wise. Maybe it is actually. Maybe that might be better. Who knows? Um, you can still keep Flame Wall and War Banner if you want to. Um, if you have like the mental cap capacity to do these things, um, you can do that. And I personally think I'm going to swap, swap to Determination there. Right, determination and war banner, which by the way has the same reservation as both heralds together. Right, that's twenty five each, and this one is fifty. So your reservation doesn't change too too much. So it's pretty good to get used to. I feel like it feels pretty good. You can also probably just stick with the heralds and don't get hit. I mean, it's difficult enough. You you have like no life anyway, and you're already dying. So yeah, I don't know. I, I'm probably gonna go determination. I don't don't feel like I can. Yeah, I'm going to die 20 times anyway. So it's much about that. 
So yeah, that's basically the, the progression thing here. Uh, in terms of items, I just made a little thing here. Uh, you can get like a boarding axe and a whalebone repair. It, it's whatever, it's like a 1.5 axe and a 1.6 uh, one-handed sword thing, right? It's more about these, which, which one is, is whatever, and then you have this craft on it. And you want a jade amulet, just a little bit reminder here. Um, in terms of skills, I just put in the main, the final links, the interesting ones, the other ones are in the notes. Um, that's in case you actually get a four link somehow. I think for cremation, it's basically only controlled destruction is really useful. Maybe some added whatever damage, but it's probably controlled destruction. Um, ideally, you would get more projectiles, right? But the issue is you, you don't get uh, LMP, like lesser multiple projectiles. You can't get that uh, unless you do library, and we're not definitely not going to do that. Um, and GMP, you actually get in Act 4, right? But it's going to be too high level. Like keep in mind, we're gonna end this probably early or mid level 30s and you can't use GMP actually even level one. So that doesn't work. And for Armageddon brand, uh, I think the, the natural fourth link is uh, Arcane Search here. You already have it. Like if you get a triple, uh, a quad blue, then yeah, why not, right? But um, I think you're gonna have uh, three links mostly. Yeah, four links would be pretty lucky and I don't know, it's probably not worth have, um, like fiddling with it too much. Damage should be fine. Um, and that's the auras. Obviously you cannot use all of them. It's like a, a, a choice essentially, right? So you can also just at the end, just run determination or you run these two and war banner or just these two or yeah, I don't know. However you feel like. I'm also in case I, I, <laughs> I wasn't clear there. This list like uh, after this, after this swap here, this it's it, you just run to the end. You just speed through. You don't need any more links or gems or whatever. Technically, at least not, unless you find something crazy. Um, you're basically done, and you're just um, hunting for uh, the Kitava kill. Uh, also in terms of levels, maybe talk a bit about that. Like this is planned to be like level what 35, 44 ish, roughly. And that would be the entire tree filled out. Um, if you get more levels, you can put them somewhere. You can probably get some more life and armor stuff here. Maybe some life here. There's some more elemental damage. There are these area damage nodes that might be kind of cool. Area of effect, maybe. That's pretty much what you can pick up. Like, I don't know where else you would go. Um, but yeah, just get more damage, get more survivability, get, get something like that. Um, also, there's some swappy nodes like I'm not even sure if you should go Elemental Overlord. I see people do it and it's probably fine. I see a world where you don't, might also be okay. Um, this one, you only need the Strength node if you want to use Determination. Assuming, assuming you don't randomly have Strength elsewhere, you're gonna need this node for Determination by default. And uh, Rune Bind is probably also something that not everybody would take. Um, I think it's pretty cool because why not? Uh, just make sure you take this late, right? If you take this too early, then you cannot use your Holy Flame totem anymore. So it's kind of a trade-off. If you're not using Holy Flame, then I don't see why you would not pick it up, right? Like a, seems, seems pretty good. In terms of progression, I go up here, you take these dex notes here. Um, starting with this, we can actually equip the sword. So if you have like early sword and you realize, hey, I cannot even equip this, that's that's where the dexterity comes from. Does this one also dexterity? No, it's just attack speed. So yeah, that's for the uh, equipping of the sword. We take some life. Um, there's some strength here, which is cool and like spell stuff. 12 all res is like crazy good. Uh, chance to ignite is also really, really good. We uh, go up here. That's like really speedy notes. It's basically all like attack speed here, <laughs> which, we, which we are getting. And then obviously the 60% increased damage, which is huge. Uh, more speedy notes here. These say minions, but the last note says um, reductions and increases to minion attack speed also affect you. So once you have this note, you, you get a bunch of more attack speed. And then, yeah, it's a decision basically go elemental overload first, maybe to get the might note as well. Uh, take more fiery stuff here. Uh, this fire mastery is kind of cool. So, yeah, you, you just have more hit, more hit damage against uh, ignited stuff. Uh, it's a pretty good note, I would say. And uh, I totally see why people take this. And then there's just live notes, basically. We take these live notes and maybe we take Rune Binder, we take Rune Binder a bit earlier, who knows. Um, yeah, it's just a bit of life and that's already it. That's, that's the entire tree. Keep in mind, it's an Act 5 run. It ends the moment uh, somebody kills Kitava or you kill Kitava. Obviously, we're not gonna be the first ones ever. Um, but yeah, just for fun. 
yeah, I think that's gonna be it. I'm gonna try this, give this a shot. And um, if I finish, then I'm gonna upload my run and you're gonna find a link in the description. And I'm not gonna stream it obviously because there's no point, but I'm gonna get the recording in case I actually finish and don't get stuck in the one minute death time loop and for some reason cannot finish. Cool, bye.